Oh my gosh. I'm on a roll today, aren't I, people? You are on a roll today. <laughs> You're in a row. Jeez. I know. So I think, like you said, I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do this today. Well, I have to do it today. <laughs> or else. Right. So we're going to, I'm going to do a nice little haul of some stuff I've gotten. Some recently, some a little bit ago, but I haven't done anything with it yet. So, so without further ado, we're going to get started. First, we're going to deal with a few things I got from Michael's just the other day. I got these on clearance. I'm like, because they come in handy for different things you can do, which are those the makeup sponge things that yeah, you can yeah. use for. They were originally $7.99. I got them for $1.97. So can't go wrong there. That's true. And you can use them for different things. Or, like these, I thought would be great for. Um, pan pastel. Yes, but I was wondering. With the little mixing pads. I mean, they're not the exact same thing, but they'll work. And then I got this with the 40% off coupon. It was originally like 20 something dollars, and I got it for like $16 or whatever. Which is the uh, Panata Kala. These are the alcohol inks. I've not, I don't have, I've not had much, I don't, I can't find them yet. I just now seen them in the Michaels here. You can get these on. Uh, you the, They have a cheap set. The same thing on Amazon. I'm, I know I've seen them on Amazon. And they have the the different colors. I think the one that's the cheapest on Amazon is their gem one or something like that. But then there's gold, black, and white as well. And these are alcohol inks. And I've been wanting to try something other than the only real alcohol inks I have. Either glitter or they're brown. And for, you know, for that ch cheap thing, who can, you know, how can you go, go wrong? Right. So they so you know, you can, you can use alcohol inks apparently on everything. Oh, that's right. I, I have yeah. Yopo paper. You, you can apply with, you can apply with a brush, a pen, an airbrush, a stamp, a sponge or a spray bottle. Apply on glass, metal, shrink plastic, coated paper, foil, leather, suede, vinyl, acrylic, rubber, resin, yopo. Endless possibilities. So you can use these on anything. And I've been wanting to try them. So that's my first. That's my biggest. My, my, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we're going to do Tuesday morning. Okay, and a while back, you guys might remind remember that I got the you know King's Art the uh, sticks, paint stick things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they've had some King's Art stuff, so I got some. So they had this one. This is the Tempera paint sticks. These ones aren't the ones I have. But I have the other ones. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but these are Tempera pa paint strips. They were. Originally $25, and I got them for 12 bucks. And so that was like, okay, because I've been wanting to try more King's Art stuff, because I kind of like the sticks and stuff are, are beautiful. They're... These are, these are, what, uh, these are the, what I got from the King's Art. They came in this little holder. Oh, I remember that. Remember these? Yes, 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 yes. And, the, I mean, they're, they have great color. They're, uh, they're that... You know, there's a lot in the tube, so you can't say, oh, I got gypped. And it has this nice little holder thing, so. And I got these off Amazon for, like, 16 bucks. Some of their pricing has went up, I think, since they've been getting popular. Which is odd, but, you know, usually it's you, the things go down as popular as things get. But, and these are, like, those ones right there that I just showed you, those are light fast, so. These ones, I don't know. I have to look at this. These are light fast as well. If you, people don't know what light fast is, light fast is when it dries. It dr should dry the color that it is. It shouldn't dry darker or lighter. Oh, okay. If, I'm, if, I, rem if, if I understood that correctly. So these are thin paint sticks. These are 
There are 24 in them. Yeah. When creative urge strikes, seize the moment. So just pop up one of these 24 paint sticks. Begin to paint paper. Da, 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 da. Right. The bright life ass color require no brushes, no water, and are quick drying, meaning no drips or spills. A hassle-free setup, a mess-free cleanup, a perfect paint stick set for the art enthusiast. And these are good for, you know, everybody. They're studio grade. That's good. Supposedly. Oh, those are pretty big. Yeah, they are. The front of the box is big. They're all can't, can't complain there. Right. Oh, and they, they're just, they're, they're very similar to the other ones that I have. A little different than these. Are, I think the other ones are, what uh, are the other ones? Kim, the other ones a water soluble gel, I think. Kim, we can it says hello, Mark. And F I B S. Fibs is friends in the box. Huh? Friends in the box. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Fibs, that's what they call. And that, and that these kind of are, are very similar to the other ones that I have. But I don't think my other ones are temper. I think they were, were they gel? Uh, I think they were gel. Yeah, I think they were gel. So, I mean, and these, these are, as you can see, they come out good. You okay. could turn Jim, them out. I didn't know that. I, I just, don't know if these are water, are these water soluble? Hey, Jim says, I didn't know that. I just thought it meant they wouldn't fade for a very long time. And then she put fatties, like they're thick, you know. Yeah, I think light fast. That's what I thought it meant was that. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe we'll just have to Google it sometime. Because I was watching something and they're like, they're light fast because they don't lose the color like other things do. Um, let's see. What are my other ones? Um, My other king's art was Yeah, the other ones I have are gel are gel medium. I thought they were. And those I got twenty four for seventeen dollars, which isn't bad. Because they're all a decent size and usually these are filled all the way down. So you're not getting gypped. Right. Oh, high winds make ground. The These board. are King's Art. These are King's Art temper paint sticks. There's. It, it makes it look like they're all thin when you look at the box. Yeah, it makes it look like they're smaller because it yeah. says, you know, thin tempera paint. <laughs> thin. Okay. Kids, I love how large those are. I didn't catch the name. It's there are six. Fun. There are six um, neon colors. There's 12, 12 light fast colors, okay, six luminous metallic colors, and six dazzling neon colors. And they are quick drying. Yeah, and they seem to be drying quick. So these are the luminous colors, which is, and they have a white too. Let's see what the white looks like. Let's see the white over top of, make sure that's, can you layer these? Ah. Uh, you can, but they but they will re, re, reactivate each other. Like so they, white, they must be white. Um, they must be uh, water soluble as well. And then this ha this has the neons and the metallics, and that is very metallic. It's really pretty. And these do dry very nicely. I mean, because I've, I've used the other things. So the gel ones anyways. Let's right. slip this back in this box for now. Next is the King's Art Tempera Paint Sticks. These were $6.99, originally $14. 
I think when I originally got those other ones, I thought they were markers or something. I don't know. I can't remember if I read or not. <laughs> I just seen King's art and grabbed. <laughs> I think these are more like the uh, gelato sized things. Oh, they're still chunky. Yeah, yeah, they'd like to be chunky. This doesn't remind me of gelatos, though. Yeah, and they're just, they're bigger versions of. Oh, wow, nice. Is that purple or black? That's purple. Wow. Yeah, so these are, I mean, they're smaller. But they're chunky. So that's not, I mean, I'm not going to complain. No, not at all. Now, see, it doesn't seem to overreact. To the, the, uh, probably, like, it's probably one of those things that if you let it sit longer and get more dried, it might not react. You know, like Karen, she does when she does mixed media where she over over layers everything. She yeah. lets things dry and then she puts like um uh oh fixative. Put it over a, a, is it a fat medium or um fixative. No, that's when she's finally done. When uh, she, there's two different. There's a fixative, final fixative, and there's a workable fixative. Sorry, she uses either. Mod Podge between her layers or the matte medium? Oh, no. I can't remember which one it is. I have to watch her stuff to see. Then I got these, the King's Art Double-Ended Art Markers. Oh. I can't remember how much of these were because I took their things off of them. But they're, you know, they're... They look like my Prisma. Yeah, they look just like the... Mm -hmm. mm, they stinky. We have this fine tip and they have the chisel tip. Which a lot of people don't like the chisel. I don't mind the chisel, depending if you're working large. So there's all those colors in here. I'm not going to take them all out. No, you're not. Okay, I mean, they, they're your normal thing. And then I think these were like. Team like the Dark needs to sponsor a video with you. <laughs> these are water based, they are dual tip brush pens. They have a regular and a flat, fine tip brush and a thick brush, and they are water, acid free and water based. Oh, Susan Baker says hi, Tater Tot, and everyone. Hi, Susan. You missed. You got, don't forget, Susan, to go watch my video from earlier. I made this little cute guy from the Dollar Tree. He's a little gnome, little gnome tree. A uh, video right before this one. Yep. So these are the King's Arts. They're water soluble, decent sized. Is that a different? Is that a new thing? Yes, these are the King's Art dual tip brush pens. They are water soluble. Oh wow! And they're decent sized, and they have the like a brush tip. Yeah, I like the brush tip. She said, "Kim says, oh my God, you're enabling me." <laughs> And then there's the, and these are water soluble. Yes, he's good at that enabling, Kim. Oh, where did I put that? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Where's my stuff I'm looking for when I need it? Something I've got's got to have water in it. There we go. So. Eh, it's supposed to be water soluble, but they don't blend out well. What about those others? Maybe if they were, yeah, if it was put on something else, then it works all right. But this is also a paper, like a paper bag, so it might work completely different on something else. What about the other things that you were overlaying? Are they water water soluble? These? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Well, they are tempera, and tempera is supposed to be water. Is it moving? Not really. So once it's there, it's there. Lightly. It's I mean, there's a very light pickup, but not much. Let's check the green. And that's a lot of water on that. I mean, it's picking up some, but 
it's just barely coloring my water, but it's keeping the thickness there. Yeah. I mean, look at that white. It's not really moving. No. Yeah. So it's really not bad. Yes. Yeah, so it's I will call it semi-permanent. Yep. So those are those. I thought those were really good. Hey, can't go wrong there. Then I got this because I thought, okay, whatever. And I, Dee Dee had never heard about this, so she's going to have to watch this video. But this is the port, portrait sketchbooks. Oh. Sketchbook. You learn the art of drawing from the masters. Oh. It's published by Ilex because it's an old master well? works. What? Was this at Tuesday morning as well? Yes, I got this at Tuesday mornings. See, it's not like the, the it's not full, so you can actually open this up good and stuff. Mm -hmm. Back isn't attached. But it's basically to kind of help you learn and, and from the others and stuff. And it gives you that, and it gives you some blank paper. It says, the profile view is often associated with power. Blah, 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 blah. It tells you some stuff, and then it gives you some more. Before drawing the contour of the brow line, nose, lips, and chin, draw an oval for the face with a line across the center. Where the eyes first to situate the facial elements accurately. And then it goes from these couple blank pages to this this page. You probably can't see it, but this is it's gridded, isn't it? Small gridded. This is the small gridded. Chin says, right. I loved everything so far. That's why doing mixed media gets you, though. There is many fun-looking supplies in media. I want to play with it all. Me, too. And then they give you another one, and they give you some stuff here. And they pay attention to people on, in the streets, in the plaza, in fields, and note them, note them down for brief indications of the forms. Like, you know, telling you, know, look, don't always try to get detail, try to get their form, how, how it's sitting. And then this uses a larger grid, quite larger grid. And then they'll go to, you know, so it basically it goes through, it gives you some blank pages and then some grid. This has the big in the little grid on it. And it goes through all these different, you know, wow. all these different portraits and stuff to look at and they give you tips in the back on you know and sketching and and uh, materials to use and pencils to use and so that you can kind of practice and they give you several pages per picture to practice on so that, i thought that was kind of cool i do too i think that's really oh, look i got it in the temper paint <laughs> can't have nothing nice Then I got this. This was on clearance. This is just a, a, another stencil from the. It's got. Oh, every. Does that say every day? Just different words and stuff. Nothing special. Special, but it was. It was a dollar ninety nine, and then it was on sale for like forty percent off. So. That's nice. And then I got this one. This is a adhesive stencil to use for stuff. Then I got these. I thought these would be fun. They were only they were originally six ninety nine, and they got up a dollar ninety nine. They are square fold cards, letter press oh. paper. This includes fifteen pieces of ten point five by five point twenty five paper fold folds to five point two five. For use with letter pressing and Epic tool. So you can just use whatever you want to with it. Make your own Christmas cards with them, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make your own little cards. I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, then I got these for $3.99. It's just, uh, their Spectre Noir art line. Pencil pens, and there's black, blue, and red. Nice. And then I got these that I will be doing. Um, one of them's going to somebody for Christmas. Well, not Christmas, but this is going to somebody naming you. 
And the other one will be putting up one of my lives as a prize for somebody to win. Oh, nice. This is the Secret Garden Artist Edition. There's 20 drawings to color and frame. So they're, you know, decent sized. She said she doesn't have a Tuesday morning. They, I don't know if they, I don't think they really even have an online thing either. It drives me nuts. Cuckoo. Anywho, I'm going to open yours. Okay. Because they're they're sealed shut. Okay. But I, I need to show because this will. I'm, I haven't decided what what video I'm doing for a giveaway for that. I originally was going to send them to send one send it to Dee Dee, but she said, "Oh, I got so much crap right now." <laughs> Why don't you give me on your channel? Because she's got, I know she got a lot of stuff, and it's, you know, a lot of, I don't blame her. And I already, you've seen the one secret, so you, you know, I sent you the one secret garden I have. Mm -hmm. But these are much bigger, and they're meant for you to take oh. them and frame them. Oh, that is, a, I like that right there. Isn't that nice? Yes. These are very, very thick. Good. Do they? They don't have anything on the back side. Yes. Good. Has a flower there. One flower. Yeah, but. Yeah, because these are meant to be hung and framed on you know on the thing. Oh. This is kind of cool too. I like the little bees and the, all that fun stuff. Yeah, this is very thick paper. It's not. Oh wow! Awesome. Oh, that's nice too. Yeah, these all just have one flower on the back. Bugs? Alrighty then. Lots of bugs. I think Dee Dee did something like this and she did them in different metallics and stuff. And that would be nice though. Oh, look at that. I love that. Mm -hmm. That one's cute too. Some hummingbird? Yep. Yeah, this is very thick. Look at the owl. That's cute. I like that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cute? It is very. Can you see that well or no? I can see it. Okay. Oh, God. There's. Uh huh. It's so little. It's so tiny. That would drive me nuts. No, it's not. It doesn't drive me nuts. You no, know, because you'd like to work in little sh in little stuff. I so have to get all new. Uh, I just realized that my paintbrushes, from big to little, are bad. <laughs> look at all these oh, little owls all over the trees. Mm hmm. Little oh, owls everywhere. Cute. That's cute. This is kind of cool. There's a little owl hiding there and a little owl there. Oh, Here's some flowers. Susan says, well, I need to take a 30-minute nap so I can be refreshed, finish cleaning and prepping for tomorrow. Peacock. I love peacocks, too. But they make the god awfulest noise. It'll make My sister-in-law used to own peacocks, and she's like, oh, no, I didn't that said they... Sound like a dying something or other. Well, they're they're beautiful birds, but when they get to oh, squawking, cute. they're great guard dogs as far as you know alerting mm -hmm. you. That's Jesus cute. said, "Y'all have a happy Thanksgiving, you too, darling." You too. I may do a live tomorrow. There's another teeny teeny itty bit a little itty bit of teeny tiny itty bit a little too much tiny for me. <laughs> I may There's do some a more birds in a tree. That's kind of cool. Anything. What? That I may do a live tomorrow just for those that aren't doing anything. Here's another fun thing. Nice. 
I may work in my country garden, but tomorrow. I think isn't isn't this the one I colored in your book? I think or so. Something similar to it. It's if not, it's very similar. I agree with you. It's very similar. And that's it. I like that. This could be fun. So those are, I mean, those are decent. I think that'll be a decent. I mean, like eight by tens. These are. Um, what size are they? This was originally twenty two dollars, and I got oh it for three ninety nine. Um, what are they? Mm, it doesn't say what size they are. They're probably well. They're decent size. They're. Is they like a twelve by twelve? Let's see. They are a ten by thirteen, I think. Oh wow! I was just trying to think of matting for them. Yeah, ten by thirteen. Wow, nice. But as you can see, there's enough for some of them. These these one you can always make it a little shorter, but. That's even if you put them in anything. Yeah, you're tossing it to the side. Toss it in wherever you might have my stuff. And you'll be going, thanks I'm for not, I put that. I can't find it. I'm putting it to the side. I'm not tossing it. No, I got to go through and start digging out stuff for, for things. Oh, Lordy, Lord, Lord. Don't even ask. Don't even ask. Because I don't know. I kind of I wish that the these King Arts I wish all our stuff came with their own little holding things because now I got to figure out where I'm putting all that stuff at once it's out of the box. But that's not coming out anytime soon because I got too much stuff to piddle with. Every time I do good until I start working on something and then all hell breaks loose in my room. Oh, you should see my art desk from me working yesterday with my markers. Mm-hmm. They're all over my desk. You can't even. I gotta. It's like, oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's like well, I showed you these, didn't I? Oh no. But I got these from Uli's. There's two of them. They're almost like that one that you do, but they're. These ones are time, the Time Garden and the Night Voyage, and I think oh, they're like. I do, which there's a few other ones. I got them for a dollar ninety nine. The covers are. And amazing. originally they were twenty one ninety nine. So. Wow. The Kim said, "I wish, so wish we had a Tuesday morning." I always this, this right here is from Ollie's. Yeah, Ollie's, but, Ollie's, whatever you want to call it. And I think Dee Dee had some of these. Somebody sent her some of these to give away the other day. But they're, I mean, this is very close to what is that one? The country. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of similar to that. Has your tune from? But it's like a little girl on a voyage. Oh. A little girl, a little cat. Like it was just gorgeous stuff in here. Oh man. Wow. That's very intense. And it has the the little girl's birthday was tomorrow. And the story. And she was by presents. Sorry we have to be away, but it has you know stories to it. Oh uh, oh I love that. Isn't that, Isn't that nice? cute? Yeah, and these are only a dollar ninety nine. Oh these should have done that. And sent you some money. Those are nice. Wow. I like the theme through this is a lot of these origami birds. That's a nice. You know, I mean, this stuff is a, a lot more. Could you, that would drive me nuts trying to get all you this. You love stuff. it and you don't even like color books. I love color books. I just don't love coloring in them. I love love the stuff they do. I suck at it. <laughs> uh, Kim said she won the book that book from Dee Dee. Oh, I love that one right there. Last week. Yeah, she aren't they? They're beautiful books. They come for dollar ninety nine from I got them from I got them from Oli's. Well, I'm in love with that. Book. That's why I was I was even trying to when she was given doing the giveaway for these. I was like, I'm not even entering because I already have them. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Love it, love it. Yeah, it's very fun. Look at that kitty cat. Looks like she's on an adventure. Oh, she is. 
I think this is for her birthday or something. Her and her titty. Jingle, jingle, the little girl awoke the next morning and found a, a Phoebe's bell looking around. She quickly realized she had was back in her bedroom. Phoebe, was it all a dream? So she, you know. Yeah, I think it's kind of interesting. Look, oh, that that's a little, that's just an insane pattern. And it has the little visual indexes back here. That reminds me of my country romance. Yeah, that's what the, yours are, the country. But I think, I don't know, I think these are a little different, but yet cool. Then there's the one that's called the Time Garden. This is a same little girl? I believe so. Oh, man. She said, these are beautiful books. I bought the other Time Traveler at my Dollar General for three bucks. I love them. This was more steampunky. Right up our alley. Rockwork. Yeah, this was a time garden, so you know has a lot more. Clock oriented and nice. I love that book. You need to show me the names of them so I can try and find them here. Shake down one of the top dollar general. I think this one, though, the Night Voyage, is a lot better than the Time Yeah. Girl, if you're asking me. Awesome books. But that's just me. Honey, I got all kinds of ones. I just haven't played in them yet. But I love them. Like, I have that mango one. The Dee Dee does a lot of stuff in. Love it. I'm scared to crap to touch it. I only paid three ninety nine for it, that one. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, this is one Dee Dee does. Has, she does step in. Oh, Mark. They scared the poop out of me. Why? Because F it up. I'll F it up. <laughs> but I only got it for three ninety nine. I don't like that it's warping. I'm going to hang it. Where did you find them from? Well, then these ones. Where'd you find that one at? This yeah, one is of Hobby Lobby. And then uh, these ones right here were from Oli's. These have the different. We don't have an Oli here. Some of these have re will have repeat ones in the different books. I love that bag. Are they there in Corey or you have to go to Erie for them? Uh, Erie or Warren. Most of the good ones I found, I found in Warren, though, for the books. But there's that one, color me, and then one, two, three, color me. She said, oops, I meant time garden. Then there's that one. Because I agree. And then she's, I've been waiting for the one. Rain. This is the magic garden. This is the, this one just has metallic pages with. Oh, wow. Like you could just use these as, without coloring them in. Yeah. You, oh, wow. But yeah, it's just a bunch of metallic pages. You just color them white. I wouldn't even color them because they're just so pretty without it. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. It'd be great to use for collaging or just frame it up and put it on your wall. Yeah, that's the Magic Garden. I think I got it for $1.99. That was originally $13 original, wow. original price. I'd be in trouble if I was at that store. Then there was the Zentangles drawing for the calm and focused mind. Give us your help show with, you know, coming up with how to do Zentangles and stuff. Who's the author? The author for this one um, is Susan McNeil. Huh. And then there was this one. This one I got at the Dollar Tree that somebody else had. It was not even a, it's just that it's a book to write, you know, uh -huh. keep little notes in and stuff. That's Flora. Nice. Flora Fauna. This one I love. I, did I show you this one? No. I was in any of these. This is the mom's uh, family, family, whatever. And they have the things paint done in the back. 
but they have two different styles. They have um, your full page I one. one of those books, but it's a different. Uh... They have full page ones, and then they have um, like these ones. See, they uh -huh. have your, the colors that they used, and then they have small uh -huh. colored inversion of it. Yep, I have a, a, a book of that that book, but a different genre. Love them. And then there was the 101 mixed media techniques I got. Wow. I thought I showed you. No, none of it. And the flora, whatever, wood, woodland. Color, craft, and draw, trees, owls, leaves, and more. Oh, wow. That's cute. The color, color of love has different letters that you color. Huh. I'm not seeing that one either. And there was this one I got you for you, but I think I thought I showed you this. No. This is a coloring, coloring Paris, the panoramic one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See, it's a panoramic one. I like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh. It just keeps going and going and going. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Faith would enjoy that. Yes, she would. <laughs> would she have a, she'd also have a meltdown probably at one point in time going, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> yes, my daughter wants the manga one. She draws manga like a pro. And then she says, do you have an always? They have big parses on their art and color. I don't know. And oh, what? It, is a, it is an East Coast type store. I live yeah. in New Mexico. I live in the Southwest. They don't have those around here. And then there was this one, the Yellow Owls Little Paint. I think I have, I think I showed you this one was for kids. Nope. Different things to do with making little stamps and um, you have to show this what you projects and painting like. projects and you name it crocheting things and yellow owls little, little little print stamp stencil and print projects to make for kids you got amazing stuff mark yeah, they they're always has great prices on almost everything. That's where my mom got her the rug we put down in the living room. Uh huh. It was what was it, it was, oh, 12 by eighteen or something. When is that the carpet that's supposed she to be got, laying? She paid she only paid ninety eight bucks for it. Is that the carpet they're going to be laying down? That we yeah we laid down not that long ago. Oh, did it get done? Yeah, it's in the living room. Okay. You should have paid like 98 bucks for it, at least. You can't go wrong there. Right. See, now I got all this crap pulled out, too. <laughs> Do what? So now I got all this crap pulled out. Well, I hadn't seen it. Yeah, I mean, I love coloring books. Yes. I guess the adult ones are, there's so much beautiful stuff. I'm just like, ugh. Yeah, if, and my problem is, is I'm the kind of person that even if I meant to, I'd be like, ugh. Like mandalas drive me nuts because I don't know how people color certain things because I'm like, no, I don't want to color it like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, my Hobby Lobby has not had lately on sale every okay. time I go to the studio, uh, like the first time she's like oh the one girl she's like oh we don't ever have stuff if it's usually if it's on clearance it's over in the I said no she's like what I said the first time I came here there was hardly anything over in the clearance aisle everything was in the aisles yep I said and I found a ton of good stuff since well, that day change every Tuesday 
Huh? Every Tuesday is when their sales change. And These if you are... have the app on your phone, you'll know what's on sale. These what? are sick pen. Is that a train I heard? Yeah, why? I didn't realize you were so close to the track. We're really, we're, uh, well, we're four blocks away, three blocks away, but we're also up on the hill, and it always that goes. You should hear. Back in the day when our one um, steel place had their one thing going, you would just hear cha-ching, 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 this big oh. hammer going all day and all night. Huh. Yeah. And we lived right next, right across from when I was a kid. If your kid can sleep through that, your kid can sleep through it. <laughs> Well, one of our friends, close friends, you know, the train track runs right behind her house. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can handle it that close. She said she loves it. Some people do, some people don't. Well, like, and ours doesn't normally go late night or anything like that. So that's a good thing. But I, I guess I've always, no matter. I think every place I've ever lived in Cory, we've lived, other than when I lived up on Euclid Street, we've lived by, but we were about the same distance from you when I was on Euclid Street as I am right now. So we've always kind of been close to the tracks where you can hear it. And when I we lived on 4th Avenue, we were right there, we were not even a block away from the tracks. So, but we don't get, we don't get a ton of, of trains through, through here though. We used to, we used to be a train port kind of thing. We used to have tons of trains. This is where the Climax uh, locomotive was, 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 was developed and, and stuff. But we just don't have a lot of, I mean, we used to have train tracks going to every, every business in town. Wow. Had a, tr had a buy up to go, that used to run all over the place. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to end the live, people. Excuse me. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to stop and check my other one on my DIY Dollar Tree Gnome. You guys will love making that. It'll be fun, 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 fun. And until then, you guys have to take care and have a good day. Bye. Oh, and thanks, Kay, who's Abstract Possibilities, for hanging out with us as well. Bye, I guys. Probably, I probably didn't introduce you. <laughs> you didn't. That's okay. All righty, guys. Have a good one. Are you hanging up on me on the